Even on a day that's as beautiful as this one, it's a reminder, should be a reminder that God is in charge. I'm standing here on the church campus, and I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see all this stuff behind me. You got 390 behind me uh, on this side. It's in the process of getting six laned, and then when I roll back around on this other side, uh, man, the progress. I love seeing the progress on Jinx Avenue. It's four laned now, and uh, I remember what it was before. I can tell you that between now and then, all kind of stuff has uh, has gone on, and there have been so many changes in the world and in our community. Um, but our message from Sunday reminded us that God's in charge. No matter who the leader is, God is in charge. In fact, God uh, humbled Nebuchadnezzar. And after going through that period of time, he called on God, acknowledged God was in charge, and God restored his kingdom. The very next leader had to learn the same lesson, but he didn't. Listen, he didn't, he didn't repent. He didn't change his ways. And so uh, God took his life. I mean, that's just kind of the, the gig. And so we're going to look Sunday at Daniel 5, and we're going to see how God is always in charge, even when we wonder. Uh, he puts kings on their thrones. He puts leaders in the places that they are. And as we live life, it's essential for us to know that God is sovereign. We can sleep well knowing that God is in control and not out of control. Can't wait to see you Sunday.